everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about the iPod Classic. Now, if you didn't hear Casino, so I'm going to ring the bell. So, the videos are back. I just wanted to clarify that because uh, I've been kind of taking multiple breaks, but I don't, like, I don't have anything to upload. But today, I'm going to be talking about the iPod Classic. So, yeah, let's get started. So, uh, I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time because, like, uh, we actually did used to have one, or my sister used to have one. But uh, unfortunately, it just got lost in an oblivion, and it just, it's, I don't even know where it is anymore. And so I actually uh, was trying to get one of these for a long time, and I've been trying to get one for a decent price because, believe it or not, these have actually gotten more collectible. Like, they used to be that you could get, like, especially with this 5th uh, gen uh, iPod Classic, it used to be that you could get these for pretty cheap. But now, that's not the case anymore, I think because uh, nostalgia is coming back to people and stuff because I call it the retro gaming syndrome because it's just like when retro gaming has had a lot of uh, hype recently things have gone up and prices have gone up so yeah that's the same with the iPods uh, not all of them are that expensive though like the nanos are not like horribly priced but I actually got this one for a decent price some people call it the iPod fifth generation or 5.5 because mine actually has the 80 gigabytes and uh i decided to get the 80 gigabyte one because it just like i really think that i have a lot of music and like one of the reasons why i got this is because uh i for some reason my phone can't play music offline even if i download it so i mean my phone's around like four or five years old now and this doesn't require wi-fi so I just uh, put some music on here. Uh, when you first see it, it's very hard to see, but there's the Apple logo. And then it goes to uh, the main menu. And if you know the sound, that sounds nostalgic, even though it's just clicking. Yeah, so this is the iPod model where uh, it had 80 gigabytes. The original version of this uh, iPod actually came with 30 and 60. But luckily I got one for 80 because I just want to have a lot of space on here. So if I look through here, uh, there's music, uh, photos, videos, uh, extras, uh, settings, uh, shuffle songs, and backlight. Now I'm actually not a shuffle person. Like I usually like to choose what music I'm, I'm going to be listening to unless if it's like a specific mood. But yeah, so uh, this is with the backlight. Now one, one of the only things I really... This might be a little bit controversial is that sometimes with the older iPods like the first through like the fourth gen like it's monochromatic but this one's colored now like with the monochromatic iPods I've seen them and like uh, with the backlight off you can still see it a little bit but if you press this off you can barely see it that's one of my only complaints about this iPod is like if you don't have the backlight on you can't see anything so uh, I have the backlight on all the time because it's just like, I, I really, I mean, I know it does drain the battery a little bit more, but uh, yeah, so uh, I actually got some music on here. Now I can't play it because it's copyrighted. I could probably put uh, copyright free music. In the music section, you have playlists, uh, artists, albums, songs, podcasts, a bunch of different categories. And the reason you know if you have a uh, 5.5 people call it is if you can search your music so if i press that and then you have a keyboard now i don't have very many tracks on here and like with this music player i usually try to stick to songs that feel nostalgic or right? even if they don't have to be from that time period yeah so i got some music on there like uh uh tribe called quest scenario uh, Rock Your Body by Justin Timberlake, like a lot of the 2000 songs. Um, so yeah, so another thing you can do with this iPod is there's extras. Now, I forgot that this was a thing because like, I mean, I remember when my sister had one of these that she mainly used it for videos because she would download like Nickelodeon shows on this. Now, sadly, I don't have any videos on this because I, I just got it only like a week ago. Uh, so there's a clock. Uh, games and contacts, uh, calendar and notes. I want to do a, a little bit of the games. Now, uh, Brick is probably my favorite. It's basically just a version of Breakout by Atari, but it's kind of like that type of thing. Yeah, so you can just, uh, I'm literally playing it with the reflection. But yeah, you use the scroll wheel to uh, basically play the game, which I thought, I thought that was cool of Apple to 
put extras like that, which I just don't see them do that that much anymore. And then there's Music Quiz, uh, Parachute, and Solitaire. And I just, this is my favorite iPod, I think. Like, I mean, I have had like an iPod Touch and stuff, and the iPod Touch I really grew up on with like Angry Birds and stuff, but like, I can't find that one, unfortunately. I've been trying to find it for a while. If I listen to something right now, so if I put some music on, and this, oh, this is actually pretty good headphones. Uh, the cord is really long though. It actually has a headphone jack, which even modern freaking phones don't have, so. Uh, plug that in, and if I go back and press play, it still sounds really good. Some people say this is probably the best sounding iPod, and I definitely agree. Like, it still sounds great. Like, especially if you have, like, because I'm the type of person that prefers over-the-ear headphones. I do not like in-ear. Like, it just, it's a sensory type of thing for me. But yeah, so it still sounds great. Now, the only thing is, is that this battery is still has this original battery, so... And I'm actually, at some point, I am probably going to mod this and put, uh, like, the 256 gigs on it. 80 gigabytes is a pretty good amount, but it's still not even that enough if you want thousands of songs. I also might put videos on here because I like watching, like, like TV shows or, like, movies if uh, because I'm actually going on a uh, trip to Colorado in the next few weeks and there might be a video on that but uh yeah so uh still sounds great and uh, probably replace the battery too because the battery's not that great I mean to be fair this battery was yeah this came out in like 2005 2006 so it's almost 20 years old this battery and it still actually is it's not that bad it could be worse uh, and I got a pretty good condition iPod. Like the ones that I see on eBay all the time are really scratched up on the back. But luckily I think I got a pretty good one. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really, I actually might do a video in the future talking about like my modern iPod. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.